Now, basically, I'm going to be showing you here is a dry fly, but I'm going to tie a dry fly, or basically, traditional wet fly, like in this case, snipe in purple. This is a, say, a partridge in orange, and a water hen blower. These have all been converted to dry flies just by adding a, a cock hackle and a tail to lift the fly at the back. Now, the reason I'm doing this is like when, when you've got a fly that works extremely well below the surface, if you use the same colour combination and make a dry fly out of it, it's guaranteed near it's going to work. And I've did this for years and years. And uh, so you've got really good nymphs, even wets, whatever, that catch below the surface. Basically you can transform into dry flies and it's very easy to do. So I'm going to be tying the water hen blower. Now, I'm going to be using a size 14, this is a B170, uh, it's a Kamasan hook, you can use whatever hook you have, you don't have to use the ones I've got. It's a nice wire, nice and thick, it's a, it's a medium wire hook that works well. I'm just going to run the wax through the beginning of the thread. Now when you start the thread about say a mil and a half, two mil from the eye, then just come over, come down a bit, I could half a dozen turns or so. Then remove the base piece and bring it back up to that point. I'm going to tie in some the water hen fibres. Now, this is a good way of using up the large sort of covert feathers. I've got some here. Uh, so it's a good bee tying method. You'll enjoy this and it's a bit of fun. As well as obviously making a good dry fly. Now you can see I've brought the fibres out so they're basically lined up and then tear it off. Then what I'm going to do is to mix up the fibres, just roll them. It's just like soft hackle fibres. And then we tie it forward. The length, you're looking around the length of the shank tied forward. Now what I do is here is just encourage these, or roll them round the hook shank. All the way around. And then tighten up when you're happy. You can have a wee quick look and see how they're sitting. If they're if you're all one side you can go back, but they're okay. Then we trim these fibres at a slight angle so that I get a taper. Basically in the body this helps form that. Taper cut gives you a tapered body. And you'll see that as a wind down. Now you can either stop at the point of the hook or you can carry on down until the barb. I mean, so it's just short of that. Now for the tail I'm just going to use a cock de leon. This is a white and cock de leon. This is like a dark a dark done. It's just one of the larger hackles. Good. Depending on how thick the fibres are. In these cases are quite fine so I've got a good half a dozen there. Tail length you're looking round the shank length into your finger and thumb. Just basically time on top. Now these two turns are on the bare hook and holding the tail. I bring the thread underneath and then use this turn to lift and separate the fibres. You encourage them to sit apart and then you can lock them in with a turn. There you go, that's fine. Then we can trim away the waste. Now, I've got this is actually a mole and some rabbit blended. Just the under fur, it's very, very soft and you don't need a lot. Now, I'm going to lightly dub it onto my thread, slide it up. I'm going to put it on really thin. I want the yellow thread to show through. So you may have to stretch it out till it's really much there. Form a nice fine body. If you need to go back, go back. Take out some of these longer fibres. So watch your thread when you're doing that. Just a wee touch more. Now to support the, the water hen, I'm going to use a cock hackle. I'm going to use a, a grizzle. This is just a cheap Indian grizzle. You can see there. You could use a grey, you could use whatever you like. I'm just going to use the grizzle. It's one of my favourite hackles in dry flies, so... 
it's optional at this point you can use whatever hackle you've you feel it will suit the fly and there is do I get two or three that you could pick so there's a feather there now I'm going to tie it in take away the rubbish at the bottom with the front of the or the inside of the hackle facing myself now I'm just going to put a wee bit of wax on this point and trim away the excess of the stem Take the thread right up against the water hen fibres. Get the hackle plier. This is obviously going to float the fly and support these fibres. Now you wind, just wind down to use up the whole of the hackle. If that happens, don't worry. These wee hackles are like that. Tips usually break, but we'll go down through. It should be fine the second time. We get to this point here, we've still got a couple of turns of the hackle. So what I like to do is stroke these fibres back, just push them back, allowing the thread around the, the hackle to come to the front. Now you're going to get a couple of turns, which is going to lift these fibres, just lift the hackle, just get it in front, supports these fibres as you can see, and then we can tie it off. One. To just to get it caught now I've got these this thread is waxed so it's got plenty of grip and then we can then finish off a bit of varnish on the thread so you can do with this 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 make any of your soft tackle or wet flies or make them float if you take the thread they will they will catch Done it. Done this for years. I've, I've even done it with a Marlin Claret. I float it a Marlin Claret and it worked really well. And there we are. Just all we have to do is make sure these fibres are spread through. And there you go. That's just basically a spider pattern, as we would call it, uh, because there's no hack, there's no wing on it. Uh, just a, a term used for that. So, and that's your water hen blower, tied as a dry fly. You can see it's really simple and nice we fly. It's in tie in 16s, 18s, whatever. Because you're using up these long fibres, you can put them in as long or short as you like. And as I say, you're using up feathers that you normally would just not so much throw away, but not find much use for. And as you can see, there's when you've got your partridge in orange, your snipe in purple, so it's up to your own imagination. So I hope we enjoyed that.